Hello, and welcome to Echoes the Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're gonna do another whipping shot here. Just gonna fight with my camera. Yes, yes. Just make sure it's doing stuff. Okay. To position. Alright. Alright, so we're working on Diamond Art Club's I Am by Ravine Phelan. It's this nice little dragon here. It's uh, been out for a while, this canvas, so it's not exactly new. So it's around 20 inches by 28 inches, 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters, 29 colors, and two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're just a shinier type of drills that uh, give a little bit more detail or sparkle in uh, oh, some canvases. So there you go. Oh, excuse me. All right, so there we go. All right, hopefully everybody's still having fun Saturday or whenever you're watching this. Okay, we're gonna 815 here, capital H. All right, we'll just dive right into it. All right, I got the whole canvas in view. We're good, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna take a swig of coffee here. Holy cow, I don't have taste buds anymore. It's a little warm. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this overhead light on. Okay, bit of, bit of glare, but. All right, so. Couldn't really get a Tim Hortons coffee this morning because drive through was like wrapped right around to like the actual main street. So Dad and I ran some other errands and went to a different coffee shop where I just basically walked up to the counter and ordered a couple coffees. So yeah, that was fun. Jeez. Went for a coffee this afternoon, and yeah, I had to wait a bit, but it wasn't like right to the street, but it was getting there for business. The sun's out. It is starting to cloud over. There's like a 50% chance of rain. Yeah, there are dark clouds moving in, so yeah. I gotta love when like you're in drive through and there's a car in there that uh doesn't pull like right up to the next car <coughs> oh holy cow there's something in there in front of it excuse me yeah where they have like a two car buffer and that's when drive through is like lined up and they won't move up it just makes you want to scream out the window and say move up uh, use your brakes when you need to and just Totally go. Just don't want to really block traffic for Tim Hortons drive through. Like, seriously? <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Older people or people with new cars are very. Yeah, they do the car buffer thing in a drive through. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess I, I know that you just care about your new vehicle, but uh, I hope you bought a vehicle that has brakes and airbags and all that. So if you do get into an accident, you are safe, but you're in a drive through You're not supposed to be going very fast. You're just supposed to be like a... Advancing slowly. Oh god, gotta get a Kleenex on my nose is running. Just that. <laughs> oh jeez.
Okay, there we are. I'm back. Holy cow. I'm just pausing for like that minute or so. Jeez. Lavender hand rub. Whoa, yeah. There's lavender in that. Yeah, hand sanitizer. My mom bought lavender scented. Woo! Yeah, just uncap that bottle and start sniffing. Holy cow. <laughs> Jeez. It, there's definitely lavender in that. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, go outside for like half an hour to run a couple errands and I freaking nose starts running. Jeez. Oh, man, going outside is so dangerous. My word. Oh, scary drive through and. Gosh, like two car buffers, like seriously, move up. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> it's so annoying. Every time, there's always a car in drive through when it's busy that does that. Two car buffer, two car space, or somebody's on their cell phone while in drive through and not paying attention. Oh, man. Just no. Very bad. No. Not allowed. Go inside. Go in the store. If you're so worried about your cell phone. <laughs> Go like it at in that line. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even go into like the store this morning because it was lined up there too. It's like and they just have like one till open because of COVID. And like how many staff and half of them are just standing there, just not doing very much. It's like, open the other till, who cares? <laughs> just at least six feet between the tills, like come on. Like, put a mask on when you're in the store to order. It's like, oh, why is this so difficult? Uh, I don't know. I just can't win. Can't do anything about it. Let's go cry in a dark corner, I guess. And just, just keep going. Why? My word. Mon Dieu. So scary. Yep. Sun comes out around here. Man, everybody on their brother's out. Everybody's out driving. Everybody's on the road. And it's just busy. And small town, like... The one I live nearby, it's just, why are there tourists? <laughs> I don't know, people just come here for some reason. <laughs> they have nice limestone architecture, but it's a couple buildings. Like, I guess there's historical buildings, but that's really it. It's like. It's not like there can be like live theater or anything, like stage performances or something, really. They have to be like outside and not exactly Stratford, <laughs> Ontario, Canada. No, no. Yeah, it's just. Why are these people here? It's just. Okay. I guess. <laughs> One guy, like was on a bike like just like a pedal drive bike like pedal yeah kinetic whatever non-motor like a bicycle there we go bicycle and he's like uh where's the nearest gas station <laughs> yeah just go up this street and then turn right on so-and-so street it's like oh okay thanks bye it's like okay <laughs> Maybe I needed a Gatorade. I I don't know. I just was like nearest gas station. Oh, Meadow Ridge Variety. I just go there all the time. So <laughs> it was like lost. <laughs> it's like okay, it happens. Yeah, sure, but when somebody asks me for directions, I just go like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Seriously, me giving directions? Oh boy. Oh, well, I hope he found his way. 
don't know, that was like this morning when I went to go get the first coffees of the day at the coffee shop that was not Tim Hortons. <laughs> Just walk right up to the counter and just order. And then walk out a few minutes later, it's like, okay. I don't know, they obviously have regulars in there because they serve somebody behind me and check out the counter was like, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm like five foot something, like, <laughs> uh, I'm not terribly short, but I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Just like, are you kidding me? I'm like, uh... <laughs> it would have been just easier to make coffee at home, but yeah, just like getting coffee for my dad every now and then, like when I'm off on the weekend, on weekends that I'm off, which is this weekend. Yeah, I like doing those coffee runs. It's like, yeah. I'll go through drive through If I have to go in the store, I'll go in the store. But holy cow, if it's just lined up to the door and they, uh, And these people are like ordering like dozen donuts and meals and they have to wait. Oh, it's just, oh my gosh. And they want it a certain way and uh, they just have to customize their order to a T here. It's like, oh my gosh, just go make a sandwich at home. Something. Well, why are you making a fuss here? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I want no sauce, no bun, like just the meat, you know, like just, yeah, give me some ham. <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, just stand there and wait. Just try luck, patient. I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> it's like, it's busy and just like, I'm like. A two coffee order and somebody's like ordering like a meal for six other people it's like oh. I don't know it's supposed to be fast food and yeah there's more staff there now than there was a few months ago with the lockdown stuff but it's just sometimes service is just holy cow a snail could do laps <laughs> a snail could finish uh, some of these orders faster. <laughs> Remember that uh, driver's license office scene in uh, Zootopia uh, with the sloths? And the two main characters went there to get information about a license plate or something? Yeah. Just imagine that. Yeah. That, that's a painful scene to watch. <laughs> it, it's hilarious, but... Oh my gosh. It's, it's just a reminder some days that just... And then I've seen something else online somewhere else that... Basically, it takes minimum wage jobs for... The world to function there there is a lot more to that statement but it, yeah grocery stores and coffee shops yeah that's like the gears of daily life kind of thing yeah that's like the oil and the gears because we only need to buy groceries to a degree and yeah Oh, cow. It's my nose today. It's just fine. I'll be back. Ugh. Holy. I should take a Claritin allergy tablet. Oh, cow. 
I wasn't outside for very long. Something's in the air today. Don't worry. I'll live. It's okay. I'll survive. I've had just allergy type stuff before. Holy cow. <laughs> just reacting to something in there. Wow. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's get some more 815 in here. <laughs> we have another bag of, yeah, 815. Extra bag. Yeah, but... Yeah, I'm not dissing minimum wage jobs. I had a minimum wage job years ago during high school. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having a minimum wage job. It's a job is probably just as important as being a doctor or an ambulance driver or a firefighter. Yeah, it has a function and a reason and it's a necessity. So I'm not here to stamp on somebody that works at a, a convenience store or no, no, it, it's necessary and it's, should be highly regarded and uh, respected, so, yeah. It's individuals spending their time earning an income to help the community that you're in. So, yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, having a part-time job or a minimum wage job. You're, you're at least working. So, yeah. Yeah, you're working when you have the ability to work and you want either want extra spending money, something to do, or you have bills to pay, you live with a significant other and you're helping pay the bills or just have money to support yourself. There are various reasons that we all have employment, but yes. Every job has an importance to it. And if you're working from home at this point and you're still working to a degree, it's all good. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you're helping society. If you have the ability to. So yes. There are some circumstances into which people cannot work. But. That's okay. As long as they get the support that they need, then it's all good. Or I hope they're getting some sort of support. Somehow. Yep, I'm not going to sit here and judge anybody's income or anything. Nah. all good. We do what we can with what we have. Yeah, there are times where it's not easy or there are times where you're just fine or there are times where you're just getting by. But Yeah, that's what should count. And yeah, for diamond painting, if no matter where you get a kit, if it's like a $20 kit or something, or Amazon or whatever, uh, you're still diamond painting. <laughs> I'm not going to look at it any different. You're still applying drills to adhesive. You're still diamond painting. you're doing a paint by number and it's a 
from a different website entirely. It's not a high class kit. You're still painting by number. See where I'm going? <laughs> You're still doing the craft. <laughs> no matter what, it doesn't have to be high class. As long as it has what you need to do the craft, then you're set to go. That's all that should matter. Yep, yeah, You can still have a great time diamond painting. Anyway, no matter what canvas you have. Yeah, just swigging some more coffee here. <laughs> Delicious. Just don't want it to be a cold brew. It's what it turns into if uh, you yeah, let it sit for too long. I drink hot, hot coffee. I can't stand uh, coffee with ice in it. <laughs> cold brew coffee. Oh boy, what a waste of coffee. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not going to go and buy one just to try it. It's like, uh, I'll just have coffee, thanks. Regular hot coffee. Tried to get, give me a dark roast coffee in the drive through It's like, I'm not having that. I said regular roast. No. <laughs> no that dark roast stuff. It was just burnt longer. <laughs> yeah, a nice strong, bold brew that would probably take the top layer off of your esophagus. Yeah, no, I'm delish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interview with the unicorn. Yeah, birds. Probably. <laughs> really, it's strong coffee. I think Starbucks has a stronger punch uh, coffee bean as well. Uh, can I have a regular roast, whatever? They looked at me funny, I think, that one time. and Yeah, it was pretty strong coffee. Yeah, <laughs> uh, first and last time I ordered a Starbucks uh, hot coffee. It was in like a chapters or something. So, yeah, it was just like part of chapters. Yeah, a bookstore and a coffee shop. Hmm, seems like kind of a scary combination. It's not exactly a library. <laughs> These are like brand new, brand new merchandise. And there's like coffee nearby. Yeah, how many thousands, if not millions of dollars of mer worth of merchandise is on these shelves? <laughs> it's a coffee shop. Oh boy. Starbucks is showing up a lot more around here. Sorry, and like the hiccups or something. Having quite a time. Nose is running hiccups and try not to burn my esophagus with a medium roast coffee. It's still hot. Made fresh, I guess. But yeah. Seeing a lot more Starbucks up here in Canada. I don't know if Tim Hortons is like hanging out down there, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> I think there's more Starbucks per capita down in the States than. Uh... I don't know. I can't really say. Uh, I'd have to get a reference from uh, somebody who lives in the United States of America and. Uh, Lives in a big city or something. How many Starbucks are in your city? Oh, just 20. What? Oh, Toronto, uh, I guess, would probably have Starbucks on a couple blocks. Uh, London, Ontario may have a few Starbucks as well. So, yeah, that's about 40, 45 minutes away from where I am in Ontario there. So, yeah. It's all good. It's still coffee. People like different types of coffee, and uh, the customer should have a choice. Consumer should have a choice of the strength of the coffee or brand. So, it's all good. Yeah, just probably won't be walking through the doors of a Starbucks unless I'm, like, desperate. Unless that's what's just in the area, and I just want a coffee so I don't get a migraine. So, there you go. Uh, caffeine withdrawal headache. <laughs> not fun. Well, I'd probably drink a Starbucks then, but not enjoy it, but I'd uh, probably swig a cup down. 
just so I have that caffeine in my system. <laughs> Wow, could that plane be any lower? I almost see the friggin' registration number on the side of it. Just fly through the window, why don't you? <laughs> holy cow, that's low. Wow, holy cow. Uh, so much for uh, this window to see the pond. There was a heron, like, in the pond earlier this morning, just hanging out on the side there, probably fishing for goldfish. Nom nom, it's having a good time. But holy cow, a oh, plane flying that low. It's like a Cessna or something, single engine. It wasn't like an Air Canada <laughs> flight, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd have a window in front of me <laughs> if an Air Canada flight was down that low. You're going, what? The turbulence for sure, holy cow. I almost seen the serial number on the side of that plane, holy cow. It's usually near the end of the tail of the plane, or whatever, the back end of the plane. <laughs> Anatomy of the plane, the back. <laughs> the front. <laughs> the propeller. Yay! Wings! Landing gear! Windshield! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, because I know so much about planes. Yep, that's right. They fly. Um, they land if you're doing it right. Um, yeah. They have seats in them. Radio bunch of different gauges and doohickeys and a, some sort of steering wheel an altimeter for height and level so you're not flying 90 degrees or something in it I don't know yeah I know so much about planes hampers yeah I just fly in the sky you know <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is like the channel for all your plane education, all your flying education. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I can look with that. Yeah, I can show you what a uh, diamond painting canvases are and what a application pen looks like, what wax is, and what a cover minder is, <laughs> and different colors of uh, drills, which are these plastic things that I'm putting on the canvas here, which has adhesive on it, which uh, makes the drill stick to it, and you place them in a specific spot. I can tell you that kind of stuff, <laughs> but otherwise yeah yeah we're just uh canoeing down the rapids without a paddle or up river without a paddle however that saying goes yeah the heck is that is this tray falling apart now well all of a sudden a chunk of orange something really oh it just looks like another Color of drill. It's like a piece of scrap. Where are we at? Oh, holy cow, halfway. 29 minutes in. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I've complained about drive through um, in coffee shops. How many Starbucks are up here in Canada? <laughs> Basic anatomy of a plane. <laughs> wow, we just go places here, don't we? Eat your heart out, Discovery Channel. <laughs> Tell me that plane's 
Is that that same plane? Yeah, is it just doing circles? Oh man. It's probably a police plane looking for drugs in the cornfield here. I don't know how to grow the marijuana stuff, so no, not me. Mm. If they can see it from the air, what what's the point? Just legally grow it in our basement. We can have a couple plants for recreational use now. Thanks, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, for that. I don't smoke the stuff, and even if you weren't at the time, the smell just lingers in your clothing and if you're like wearing a coat or something like holy cow i don't know how many times you'd have to do laundry or something or practically drink and then sweat for breeze don't drink for breeze <laughs> just spray it on you maybe but yeah <laughs> Yeah, don't drink Febreze or eat Tide Pods. They're they're not mint flavored. Let's not go back to that. Okay, thanks. Do not endorse any of those activities. Don't drink and drive. Okay. Don't smoke weed and drive or do drugs and drive. Please and thanks. Okay. No. Okay. Do not operate heavy machinery under drug influence or uh, after you've been drinking if you're intoxicated. Or not feeling well. Or very tired. There you go. <laughs> Which medication commercial is this? Uh, I'm just telling you. Just being Mr. Safety over here. So, let's review. No drinking and driving. No doing drugs and driving. No thank you. There are certain medications. The that may make you drowsy. Don't take the medication, then drive. Get behind the wheel. No, no. Until you know what the medication, how the medication will affects you. Oh man, they really cover their bases in these uh, medical commercials, <laughs> these uh, medication commercials. Tell your doctor to give you this prescription, this drug, and then they blatantly lay the name of the drug out for you. Okay, shouldn't your doctor be telling you that you should be on that drug, not you telling you? Oh, man. It's like you have to do all of the work, and the doctor just stands there and listens. That's what it sounds like in those medication <laughs> commercials. Hi. Yeah, I have heart disease and all that, and I have all these other side effects and all that, so I want to take so-and-so medication. Okay, doctor? Okay, sure, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's write you up a script right now. I'll be through. Hey, excuse me? <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Don't get your doctor to do anything. Just uh, name off a bunch of medications and see what uh, sticks. Let's just throw a finished spaghetti on a wall and see if it sticks. Okay, it's done. Kind of like that. <sighs> What not to do? <laughs> Holy cow. Just go to the doctor and get proper medical treatment, proper medical advice. I am no way in no position to recommend any sort of medical procedure or drug. I am not a medical physician. I just played Dr. Mario when I was younger. That's about it. Okie dokie. Yeah, that doesn't count. Aww. <laughs> I got my medical license on the side of a cereal box. Oh, you did? Oh, that's so awesome, little Timmy. Oh, good job. Yeah, okay. Probably. Mm. Can probably get... Yeah, I could probably get a certificate or some sort of trade online or something. Could probably become a massage therapist online or something. You could officiate uh, probably weddings or funerals by doing an online course. You could become certified to legally perform marriage ceremonies. I've heard of that. 
But yeah, if you want to be like a doctor or something, yeah, medical school would be good. Okay, yeah, go to medical school. Save up your shinies. Yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's 10 years or more, depending what you're doing. Yikes. Okay. All right, capital L, 814. Let's see. What color we're we doing here. Yeah, yet again, you don't have to watch these weapon chats in any particular order. I just go on tangents. Sometimes I'm pretty quiet. Talk every once in a while. Oh, excuse me. Coffee attacks. Oh, excuse me. Nose is running. Oh, man. Just having a day. Good thing the first weapon chat wasn't a total disaster fest. Oh, man. Gotta keep it interesting, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, we're just here to hang out and have fun. It's all good. No real big rush to finish any of these canvases or anything. Okay, there's tons of owl in here. Yeah, it's kind of scattered like the S or whatever was in here before. Yeah, it was capital S or something. Yeah, 740 or something. Yeah, and it's like this orange here. Okay, so L, here we go. Let's dive in. It's a darker red. Yeah, this is the dragon's other wing. It's kind of furled up on the side, it's the outside. Like the outer side of the wing. Yeah, and it's weird. It's like this ring's partially folded. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Is this dragon comfortable in this picture? <laughs> like wing wise? Holy. <laughs> Maybe its wings like sit on the side, like curl up beside its body. I have no clue. I got to do like a twenty twenty interview of this Dateline interview of this dragon here. It's like, uh, so how do your wings work? You know, like rawr, fire breathing. <laughs> Never get the answer, probably. <laughs> Ah, great interview. <laughs> On Dateline tonight. <laughs> Talking to a dragon about its wings. Yeah, okay. Mm. What's not going to happen on Dateline? <laughs> yeah. Dragons aren't real. Why not? Oh, what about Jurassic Park then? Yeah, dinosaurs are real, because, yeah, that's real life. They just filmed it. They just went to the island and filmed it. It's a documentary. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Would somebody, like, believe that? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Tell, like, a young kid that that wouldn't know any better. Yeah, Jurassic Park, those movies, like, four or five movies, are, yeah, a documentary. They just, film crews just went in there and filmed them. Yeah, there's novelizations, just like, just in case people didn't see the documentary. Yeah. So the novels are there for it. It's like, holy cow. Really? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, on an island somewhere, there's actually probably dinosaurs hanging out. And it's like, what? <laughs> Why? What are we doing? <laughs> Oh man, that would, uh, um, um, big oops. Yeah, that's why you should be careful what you watch on TV and, uh, ask questions if you're in doubt. Okie dokie. Man, that was like a concerned children's advocates or something. It's one of the messages. There's just 
some made up facts about elephants or something. It's just like that seemed real, didn't it? It's not. <laughs> elephants don't do that or whatever. It's way back in the nineties. It concerned children's advertisers or something. Yeah, it's yeah, some sort of safety agency. Yeah. Except without the ninja turtles to tell you what to do. So yeah. Basically that. Anyway, it's like, ask questions if you, you really don't know or understand what's, what you're watching or what you're hearing. Just ask, ask somebody and get the facts, get straight facts or ideas before you blatantly believe what's portrayed in the media or something. Yeah, okay. Mm. That was uh, probably handy advice back in the 90s, for sure. Ask questions. <laughs> Is this real? It's like hippos in a sort of bird bath or something. Uh, I don't know, it's like so long ago. Probably on YouTube or something. Just a fair use or something, but... I think that's what it's called, Concerned Children's Advertisers. CAA or something. <laughs> yeah, back when uh, values were taught on television, value-based cartoons and all that. <laughs> Bobby's World and all that, yeah, just... Back in the 90s where, like, people actually probably learned stuff from TV that was actually, like, useful, family-oriented. These days, nah. Yeah, good luck. Just all violence, explosions, directed by Michael Bay, you know. <laughs> it's just violence, sex, drugs. Yeah, just value-based television is kind of hiding. Yeah, it's just really weird. Oh, cool. This is like the shadowy part of the wing. Oh, this is kind of cool. I know, it seems like 90s TV was so much better than TV now. It's just so polarizing now. Yeah, I was talking about like that 24 hour news cycle. That's what I call the other weapon jet. 24 hour, 365 day news cycle. 24 7, 365 news cycle. Yeah, Newsday or whatever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, true. If you want news, you can just type in a topic and you'll get it within seconds. Yeah. They want you to be hyper aware of what's going on. Up to the minute. And here I am just, uh, Wanting two large coffees in a Tim Hortons drive-thru. <laughs> Within like five minutes. I have a coffee machine, a Keurig here at home to make coffee, but... I don't know, just... Yeah, it's just like somebody who loves Starbucks. Like, you want Starbucks, so you go to Starbucks to get a coffee. Or... Uh, frappe mocha, cama latte, frappuccino, grande, loca thing. Their sizes are 
different. Small, medium, large, extra large, I think. <laughs> For Tim Hortons. <laughs> Woo! I am Canadian. Yeah, can I have like a large double double, whatever, you know? Like, A. <laughs> it's like. Okay. Mm. And then Starbucks, can I have like a grande coffee something? Whatever language this is up on the board here. I like have to look at the order board every time to order something from Starbucks. I bet. Grande, large A, something. It's just, oh boy. I don't know. Just keep it simple, folks. It's coffee. Like, seriously. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not dissing Starbucks. It's just different. I'm so sorry. I want people flipping tables here. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's just like McDonald's or Wendy's. Like, you'd go to one or the other. Or neither. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's either Pizza Hut, Pizza Pizza, Domino's, etc., etc., Holy cow, there's like eight Pizza Hut, or not, eight pizza stores or restaurants in St. Mary's here alone. Seven or, seven or eight. There's another one opening within next little bit. Like, are you kidding me? Did you do any market it, demographic research at all? Like marketing research? There's like how many pizza places here already? Let me see. Pizza Pizza. Uh, pizza Hut. Uh, yikes. Skippies. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Uh, Little Caesars. It's gotta be like six or, six or seven or something. It's like, not everybody likes pizza for crying out loud. New Orleans pizza. What's next, Domino's? Like, after Tito's here? It's like, oh my gosh. Two months later. Oh, Domino's is coming. Oh my gosh, flip a table. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Get a McDonald's here in town, so. Yeah. That would be something. Yeah, that's a totally different... I was a color ad before. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Too many pizza places in town here. It's just... Whoa. And yet... It's not very many places anymore that you can just, like... Go in and get a slice of pizza. A slice or two of pizza. Just to eat yourself. No, they want you to buy a whole pizza when all you want is like two slices, like just for yourself. It's like so stupid. <laughs> uh, do you sell slices? No. Pizza Pizza does and New Orleans does in town. I'm not sure about Skippy's. I've never walked into there. But yeah. Pizza Hut, I'm pretty sure you have to get whole pizza. I haven't been there in a while, but I did eat something from there earlier this year. Like when it first opened in town. Yeah, I kind of grew up with Pizza Hut. And like, there's nothing like wrong with pizza. Like, I love pizza. But you don't need seven pizza places in town like I, I'm sorry you don't need seven pizza places in like a small couple thousand population town like are you joking there are other foods yeah it's just oh my shaking my head <laughs> 
just drive by all of them when <laughs> I'm in town. Um, basically, Tim Hortons <laughs> for coffee and Subway. Right. Dad and I go and get subs on Thursdays. Yeah, we eat Subway. <laughs> and my mom eats a salad from the grocery store on Thursdays, so... Ah, oh, just... Another pizza place, like, holy cow. Oh, well, looks like we're getting a bookstore <laughs> in town. Yeah, totally different subject. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a bookstore. Oh, goody. Hey, that's kind of cool. That's kind of nice. Good idea, good idea. Uh, I still like holding a physical novel, like a paperback or a hardcover. I like physically holding a book. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know. There, there was one here a few years ago. I'm not sure if... Uh, how long it's going to last. There would have to be quite a... Uh, well, there might be, might be an interest in a bookstore still. I'll have to see. Oh, kind of nice though. I do like holding a book in my hands. That's how I like reading books. If I can, if I can get a physical copy of something, I want to physically hold it and read off of paper pages. But, yeah, fall 2021, I guess. That's when that bookstore is coming. Well, oh, just another downtown merchant. Yeah, that's all good. That's certainly a lot smarter sounding than a, another pizza store. Another restaurant. Pizza place. Oh my. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what? What the heck is wrong with these people? <laughs> You're my favorite pizza place. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you could have a different pizza every day of the week if you wanted to do that. I guess it's one way to look at it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Just shaking my head. What can I do? But a panic. Shaking my head. When uh, fast food is a little too convenient. Just hope we have Skip the Dishes app around here. Holy cow. Definitely pizza places that would uh, be good candidates for Skip the Dishes. That app, you just order on the app your favorite restaurant and then I guess there are some delivery. Some places deliver, like Pizza Hut for sure. I was looking for delivery drivers. Guess that, that job's not too fancy. <laughs> but yet again, as I said, maybe a part-time or minimum wage job. People like their pizza. They like getting deliveries, so. It's an essential service in my opinion, I guess. But, you know. Can't uh, really batter down anybody in the food industry or anything like that. Fast food industry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Retail. <laughs> I don't know. Walmart stayed open. Uh, a lot of the aisles were blocked off here in Ontario from uh, non essential stuff. But you could get groceries and stuff from Walmart if your uh, location had grocery outlet food in it. There's essential stuff only. Other aisles were blocked off. But yeah. Essential services. 
I would just be so stupid if we got locked down again because of this Delta variant, but no, we got to behave ourselves. If we get a lockdown, uh, people really better not be surprised. Like, seriously. Kidding. Been dealing with this for like almost two years now, and uh, people freak out because we're locked down again because of this Delta variant. I'm just. Just another shake my head kind of moment. Brought to you by Oreo. Just eat the whole cookie. Let's not play with our food here. <laughs> Just put the cookie in your mouth. <laughs> Screw the milk. Just eat the cookie. <laughs> yeah, good Oreo commercial. Eh? Yeah, I know. Just it's a hallmark moment right there. <laughs> wow. Just eat the cookie. Seriously, just eat it. What are you doing? Unscrewing it. What? No. Eat the whole thing. Nom nom. So playing with your food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Vicious. I'm so vicious. I don't care. It's your Oreo. Just eat it or whatever. Just have fun. Who cares? Just eat it. Live on. It's just a cookie for crying out loud. I just eat the cookie. <laughs> I don't know, I just go everywhere on these. Just having a time. Time and painting is fun. Makes you think of very random things while you're just placing drills on adhesive. It's just, yeah, mind goes places. You can zone out and just like think. <laughs> in my case anyway like I, I don't know how other people feel when you're diamond painting probably forget where you are for a few hours <laughs> you're just like so in the zone just putting drills on adhesive just having a good time listening to music getting lost in an ebook or something I don't know that's the beauty of the hobby you can just chill and just uh, make a piece of art while you're at it, so, yep. Yeah. Yay, diamond painting. Yay, crafting. You know, tons of fun stuff. Alright, 57. I like how these hours just go by. Look at the phone, half hour mark. Look at the phone, <laughs> 57 <laughs> minutes. It's like, whoa. I don't know, these whipping chats go all over the place, but as long as I'm putting drills on adhesive, we're good. As long as I'm not having an allergy attack, we're good. <laughs> Jeez. Go outside for half an hour and nose starts running and, oh my gosh, sneezing. My word, one deal. This can win. But you know, it's just one of those days, sunny day. There's clouds overhead, but they're not menacing thunderheads or anything. It's just, I guess, the storm system that we're maybe going to get just decided to skip us. I don't know. Corn's thirsty behind uh, our house. It has cobs now. I'm not going to be touching that corn, those cobs. I could. You could just practically go up and high five it if you really wanted to, but. <laughs> yeah, I just get that feeling of, uh, yeah, the field's gonna eat you alive if uh, you go walk into it. Yeah, disoriented for sure. It's just a, like a natural wall. There's no corn maze, it's a, like a full field of corn, like, yeah. I don't think anybody, any farmers would have the patience around here to make a corn maze. <laughs> For people to go wander around in. Oh boy, <laughs> I think uh, farmers just want a crop yield around here. <laughs> Not... <laughs> oh, just, yeah, go play in my field. Yeah, I don't want profits or anything on this farm or anything. I'm like, holy cow, okay. 
<laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what farmers want to say? <laughs> All right, but anyway, you've been watching. Uh, yeah, it's an hour right on the dot. You've been watching Echoes of Color with uh, Jeffrey Morrison. In the description below, I put my Facebook profile name, uh, my Echoes of Color Facebook business page, and my Instagram, all of which are just kind of update areas regarding channel Echoes of Color here. Yeah, just progress pictures on this canvas and other canvases to come. Uh, yeah coloring page stuff which yeah I still do color but yeah at some point I uh, just have to finish that coloring page I'm on I just come out here to diamond paint because it's like just the time and the place to do so I haven't forgotten about that coloring page it's sitting on my desk downstairs of course but you know yeah if I can come out here and diamond paint and do weapon chats yeah that's what i do so there you go other than that have a wonderful day and uh we'll see you next time for sure take care bye <laughs>